All right, today I'm gonna go over my Anbull five gallon per minute transfer pump or water pump. Um, there's the manual right here. This is what I've got. Okay, here it is on the table. Um, I'm gonna show you, uh, first of all, let me tell you that um, this was not sent to me. I did purchase this with my own money on Amazon. It was about $100. Uh, nobody's paying me for to review this or you know give me my give me a, an opinion on it uh, I'm just gonna you know call it like it is um, and uh, that's that so uh, let me just tell you um, I've had a couple people ask me uh, what I use I have an off-grid cabin and apparently they've seen a couple of my videos um, and they are wondering how I get water to my off-grid cabin because I do not have electricity out there. I do not have uh, a well. I do not have any means of getting county water, or city water, or anything like that. What I do have is I have a stream, a nice crystal clear stream about 30 feet away from my cabin. And what I do there is I put the hose in the stream and that's where I get my water from, okay? Now, this is the second pump that I purchased. Um, I'm not at the cabin today, but this one just came in. I'm going to show you. I have it kind of set up like I have it at the cabin. This one will be used uh, for a shower. Uh, I'm going to get a, uh, a storage water storage tank, uh, about 100 gallon probably, or I think. And I'm going to just drop a hose in that. Um, that's why I have a, just about a four and a half foot hose on this today. Um, so let me show you what this comes with. Um, you're gonna get obviously the pump. You're gonna get these fittings, okay, for if you want to put uh, some kind of tubing on there, and uh, give, they give you a 90 degree elbow. You also get um, this copper fitting here that uh, attaches to a garden hose, and there's also a copper fitting here that also attaches that screws on here for your garden hose okay now let me just go through this really quickly i just have a bucket of water here so this kind of simulates like uh coming out of a water storage tank or you or a pond even um the hose i have on here like i say is about four and a half feet long the one i have at the cabin is about 30 to 32 feet and it goes uh just directly like i said in the stream uh and it pulls the water up um, it does take a minute to prime. I don't know how long of a run you could probably do. I know I don't have a problem with the 32 feet. I don't know if you could go 50. I don't know if you can go 100. I have no idea on that. I've never checked it. Uh, all I know is that the 32 feet is just fine. Um, now this pump will lose its prime if it's going down a hill, which mine at the cabin does. Um, I have quite a hill coming up the hill. Uh, but it does pull it up the hill but What happens is the water that's in the hose once you stop the you know the nozzles from spraying um, If you let it sit for a long time, you know a couple two three minutes four or five minutes and come back uh, All this water that's up here will run down the hose obviously and back down to the lake um, So it does take a minute to reprime it will not hold its prime uh, But it's not a problem. Uh, I've never had any issues with it um so let me start at the other end and let me show you what I've got here. Um, this hose here is just coming from my garden hose. I'm just using that to fill up the bucket. Okay. At the end of this hose, um, I have a screen. This is just to keep out the really heavy stuff. Okay. Now, um, I got these screens on Amazon. I got two. Let me show you. Show you this one. Okay, so here's this one. It is threaded. And I thought this was going to fit on the screw on the end of a garden hose, like a nozzle does, a water nozzle. But apparently this is a little bit smaller. So if you're going to buy these, be mindful that you might want to make sure you get the right size. Now, what happened was, um, as luck would have it, I just took, this is a piece of hose just from a, an old hose I had. Uh, that I was going to repair and I just cut a piece off um, So 
the hose did fit perfectly in here and this i screwed this on the hose so this is like really tight this is not coming off i mean it's screwed on there really nice so all right so i'm going to put that in there and i'm going to have to put because this hose wants to come out of here i'm going to have to put something to hold this down otherwise it's going to pop out of the bucket all right so i got that all right so this hose comes up here all right, and what I have is I have a, a male end here uh, of a just a repair end for a regular hose, and I bought that at Lowe's, and this is it right here. Uh, that's a number. All right, I got the I got the expensive ones. These are like six bucks, but they're all metal, and they're not like the cheap plastic ones. So you know, it's gonna last. Okay, so then there's the fitting that you screw on to this micro filter the micro filter screws onto the pump obviously you have a direction this arrows here this is where the water goes in this is where the water goes out okay i put teflon tape on here um you're not really supposed to it says in the manual not to put teflon tape on there because if you tape it over the hole and it sucks the teflon tape in it could wind up in the pump and uh, obviously that would not be good so all right, so here's your micro filter. This screws off and this blue screen will pop out and you can always rinse that out or blow it out or whatever you want to do if it gets clogged up. Uh, not a problem there. So if you come over here, this is an adjustment screw right now. This is at five gallons per minute. I think when I use for the shower, I'm going to kick it down to maybe one gallon to one and a half gallons a minute. That's what that screw does. Turn it left, turn it right. It either goes more pressure or less pressure, okay? Uh, once again, it did have another copper fitting that uh, was made for a hose connection. I did uh, Teflon tape that side again. Like I said, you don't have to because these have rubber O-rings in them, both of these. Okay, just screw them on there gently. Squash them down. Don't crush them. You know, you'll be fine. All right, there's the garden hose. So, I got that rolled up over here with just a regular sprayer on it. Doesn't matter what sprayer you use. And the garden hose I'm using was also purchased at Lowe's. It's just a 50 foot, 5 eighths garden hose, okay? Whatever you got will do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna show you. First, I'm gonna go over and turn my water on so I can keep some water running in this bucket uh, to simulate the water source, whatever you're gonna use. Uh, so let me run over there and do that real quick and then turn that on and I'll be right, right back. So I got the water going. Obviously, that's going to end up spilling out a load of place here in a second. All right. So I'm going to plug this in. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how quiet this thing is. Now, this thing does have rubber feet on it that you can put screws through obviously i don't have it mounted right now i just have it sitting on the table this is not where it's staying so the other one i have screws through here it doesn't make a whole lot of noise very quiet i'm gonna plug it in okay there it is you hear it running now it's running i need to prime it okay Cause it's not going to suck the water up so here we go i'll grab the hose all right it's pretty quick so there's going to be some air in here going up all right see it's spitting out that's good look at that pressure on that thing that is some serious pressure this thing's shooting at least 30 feet right now okay so now that it's primed, I can cut it off and the pump will cut off. A... Okay, it just cut off. There again. Like I said, if you wait five minutes, all the water in here is gonna end up bleeding down that hose because it's just natural. It's gonna go back downhill because there's no valve to stop it from going down there. You could probably put a one-way valve on the end of the hose down there. Um, 
that would be a good solution to that and that way you you know you wouldn't have to prime it all over again if you waited that long but being a short run like this i mean it, it primes and you saw it prime in no time and this thing's got some serious pressure behind it So, if you're thinking about getting one of these, I really like it. Whether you're going to water your lawn with it, um, use it for whatever you want, washing your car, I don't know. But it works just fantastic. So, like I say, I like it. That's why I bought another one. And, uh... So that's basically the setup for the people that really wanted to know. Uh, and this thing will run forever. I haven't had any problems with my other one. I've had it for about a year now. And like I say, this is, I mean, I use it at the cabin, wash down everything, muddy shoes, rinse all the stuff off I have, and uh, it works great. So anyways, if you have any questions, if I miss something, just leave it in the comment section. If not, uh, I just hope it helps somebody. If they want looking to get a transfer pump. Maybe this will uh, help out a little bit. All right, till the next one. We'll see you later.